What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna share some very useful photo editing tips for you guys. If you're into photo editing, you should watch this video completely. I'm gonna share some very interesting tips which will help you edit your photo better. So let's dive right into the video. The first step is adding the text behind the subject on a specific image. You see on this image, I have added the text behind me. Let me show you how we can do this. I will open the same image here again. Now I myself is a subject here. I will just press and hold on the subject, clip it. And now I can copy this clipped subject from the background. Now I can just press and hold on the same image to paste this uh, clipped object or subject. Let me paste. Now you see, I have got this pasted image right here. I can zoom it in and I will be able to place this on this subject again, making sure that it fits in well. But before we do that, what we can do is we can add the text. You see, we have got text option right here. Tap on text. Let me just increase the brightness here. And here I will type Vietnam. Since this image was taken in Vietnam, I will just type Vietnam and I can also add the flag here if I want. Now what I'll do is I will bring this text right on the subject here. And if you want to change the font, you can do that. If you want to increase the, uh, you know, increase the size of the text, you can do that. And if you want to give some space between the text, you can do that as well. In the previous image which I edited, I did give some space between these four letters and these three letters here. If you don't want that, you can just put it behind the uh, subject. Or if you want to give some space, you can do that. Let me just give some space here. Now I will tap on the text again. You see, this is the text which I just placed on the subject. Now I will just bring this clipped subject right on top of this. And I'll just make sure it fits on the subject well. And that's it. I will just tap on the empty space here. The text is right behind me. This is a super cool feature you can execute in multiple different ways. And this is one of the best ways to put the text behind the subject on a specific image. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Just tap on save. This image has been saved. Now I got my portrait image with some text behind me. See, it looks perfect. The T is behind me and the N is behind me. So we can put the text behind the subject using this particular feature. Now on Samsung Galaxy phones, we have got a feature called as live effect. To get this live effect, what you need to do is just open a specific image and swipe up. You will see some useful suggestions here right below this image. We've got live effect, remaster. Now this depends on the image. Every image will have different options and most of the images will get the live effect option and some images will get different options here. Now let me tap on live effect here. Now you see it is adding the live effect to this specific image and this looks just amazing. Look at this, it is so cool. We've got this whole background and the subject moving with 3D effect which look beautiful. And this can be saved. You can just tap on save or you can share it. Let me tap on save. This image has been saved inside the gallery. Let me go to the gallery here. Let's see where exactly this has been saved. Right here inside this folder, we have got this uh, video. It has been saved as video clip. As you can see, this is a video clip with 10.54 MB size and 1440 by 1800 resolution and 30 FPS is the frame rate per second. That's how we can create live effect for the images. Now, we will be able to clip and drag and drop a specific subject or object from one image onto another image. Let me show you the best way to do it. Let me tap on this image here. I will press and hold on the subject and I'll just drag it. Now, this has been clipped. What I'll do is I will go to the image on which I want to place this. Let's say uh, I have got this image here. Yeah, I've got this image here. Now, I want to place this uh, clipped image right here. I can just drop it. It has been paste it, I can just zoom it, position it properly and just leave it right there. And if you want to make multiple copies of it, you can do that. You see, I've got one more copy of it. I can tap on this again to make another copy and I can just tap on save. As simple as that. This is how we can clip and drag a subject from one image to another image on your Samsung Galaxy Phones gallery application. Now on Samsung Galaxy Phones gallery application, it is very easy to edit the image and copy those edits and paste it on multiple images. Let's say I have edited this image using different effects. Let's say I have increased the brightness here, light balance, and uh, I have uh, increased the exposure and I have done some changes here and uh, I have just saved this image and I like these edits which I have done on this specific image. I can apply the same edits on the other images. It's very easy to do that. All you need to do is after you edit the image, tap on the three dot button, you will see copy edits. Just tap on copy edits, go back. You can select the images. You can select multiple images like this and tap on three dot button again. You will see 
paste edits option right here at the bottom just tap on that all these images will get that specific edited effect which is fantastic it says edits applied to eight images now all these images have got that effect let me just show you that let me open the specific image i will go to edits now you see if i uh, tap on these options here the light balance is 39 brightness exposure 17 so these changes whatever i have made on the other image have been pasted on uh, this image so i have pasted this on multiple images so we can do that at one go which is a very handy feature now this specific feature on the samsung galaxy phones gallery application is very nice now on this image if i I want to clip the subject here i can just press and hold on myself and clip myself out of this image out of the background very easily and if i try to do that on the cat here it is not allowing me to do that for some reason it is not picking up the borders of this cat or maybe it is not picking up the subject here it is only able to pick up this subject here and it is asking me to just paste something which i have already copied from another image so when we are not able to clip a specific subject what we can do is tap on the pencil icon here we have got this icon tap on this here you will see lasso option just tap on this we got snap to shape select manually deselect let's keep snap to shape option and tap on the cat over here i just tap on this you see it has just picked up the cat what i can now do is i can tap on next to clip that cat from that image so this is how we can clip or cut out a specific subject or object from an image from the background if the image is not allowing us to do it pretty cool isn't it so if you are not able to clip a subject from an image just use lasso feature right here from this menu option now on a specific image inside samsung gallery application you will be easily able to add the stickers by tapping on this icon here and tap on this icon and tap on stickers here now we get a bunch of stickers here which we already know but did you know we can clip an object or a subject from another image and paste it here as a sticker within the gallery application for that all you need to do is just tap on this gallery icon here tap on create sticker you can use any images that you have inside the gallery to create a sticker now i will just pick this image over here automatically it is clipped i will just tap on next select the style that you want i will just select this specific style here or I'll, let's leave it original i'll tap on done now this has been added onto this other sticker which is very very quick and easy way to add stickers on the gallery by creating it from another image within the gallery application pretty cool isn't it these are some very useful tips i wanted to share with you guys in this video let me know what do you think if you have some additional tips do share it in the comment section and if you're interested in this wallpaper i've left a link for that in the description and this is a widget from a widget pack called one ui kwgt the link is in the description you need to have the kwgt pro app and this premium app to add these kind of widgets on your home screen so make sure you have bought both of them on your galaxy phone or any other android phone that's about it that's that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, subscribe. You get to learn a lot about your phone. And yeah, hit that like button if you find this video informative. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.